welcome all i am participant going to present about the technical option of code generation method the technical option of for code generation systems according to the steam turbine steam turbine are most commonly employed prime movers for code generation applications in the steam turbine the incoming high pressure steam is expanded to a lower pressure level converting the thermal energy of high pressure steam to kinetic energy through nozzle and then to mechanical power through rotating blades the steam turbine topping cycle cogeneration system is the extraction back pressure turbine types of steam turbine used in cogeneration s by m back pressure turbine extraction condensing turbine here the different configuration for back pressure steam turbines are there high pressure steam extracted steam exhaust steam and so on a simple back pressure is one type of the different configuration for back pressure steam turbine another one is that extraction back pressure third one double extraction back pressure in the simple back pressure type will rotate as well as the single entry and exit of steam through turbine in the extraction back pressure type will provide one more additional exit except the normal exit way and the double extraction back pressure will provide two back pressure in between the entrance and the exit of the turbine which is shown in the figure 3 the steam turbine core generation system the back pressure turbine and the extraction condensing turbine is classified by the schematic diagram the turbine in generally supply that uh, exit steam into the process through condenser and then the condensed steam enter into the boiler when entering into the boiler the fuel flue gas will heat up the wa- water into steam condition and then the steam will supply into the turbine and then the exit of the steam again will go to process for condensing the steam and this is the way the back pressure turbine will be working the extraction condensing turbine where the condenser unit is providing separately and the process unit will be at middle of the turbine stage where we can see clearly that the exit steam enter into the condenser and the exit steam again enter into the boiler to produce or generate the steam and the generated steam enter into the entry entry of the turbine in the in between the entry and the exit of steam into the turbine uh, the process unit is joined together this is the way the extraction condensing turbine is working on the two types of steam turbine most widely used are the back pressure and the extraction condensing turbine in extraction and double extraction back pressure turbine some amount of steam is extracted from the turbine after being expanded to a sudden pressure level the extracted steam meets the heat demands at pressure levels higher than the exhaust pressure of the steam turbine the back pressure turbines in this type steam enters the turbine chamber at high pressure and expands to low or medium pressure enthalpy difference is used for generating power or work depending on the temperature level at which the process steam is required back pressure steam turbines can have different configurations in extraction and double extraction back pressure turbine 
some amount of steam is expected from the turbine after being expanded to a sudden pressure level the extracted steam meets the heat demands at the pressure levels high higher than the exhaust pressure of the steam turbine the two types of steam turbines most widely used are the back pressure and the extraction condensing turbine the steam turbine topping cycle cogeneration system is the extraction back pressure turbine here this we can clearly see the working principle of extraction condensing condensing turbine the steam generator generate the steam and then the steam supplied into the steam turbine and then there are two different exit one is the feed bump feed water bump will take the steam outlet and another exit of the turbine will join with condenser unit where the steam condensate and then supply into the steam generator again steam generated and then supplied into the steam turbine this cycle will be continuously processing and then while rotating the turbine the turbine rotator connected with generator and generate the power through the generator unit in this type steam entering at high medium pressure is extracted at an intermediate pressure in the turbine for process use while the remaining steam continues to expand and condenses in a condenser and work is done till it reaches the condensing pressure vacuum in a two stage extraction come condensing turbine mp steam which means the medium pressure steam and the lp steam a low air pressure steam pass out to meet the process needs balance quantity condenses in the surface condenser the energy difference is used for generating power the configuration meets the heat power requirement of the process the extraction condensing turbine have higher power to heat ratio in comparison with back pressure turbines although condensing system need more auxiliary equipment such as the condenser and the cooling tower better matching of electrical power and heat demand can be obtained where electricity demand is much higher than the steam demand and the load pattern are highly fluctuating extraction back pressure turbine can be employed where the end user need thermal energy at two different temperature level the full condensing steam turbine are usually incorporated at sites where heat rejected from the process is used to generate power the specific advantage of using steam turbine in comparison with the other prime mover is the option for using a wide variety of conventional as well as alternative fuel such as coal natural gas fuel oil and biomass this is a coal generation system with condensing steam turbine which means there will be a condensing unit provided to circulate the steam to condensate and then the condensate steam is applied into the boiler through circulating bump and then few few fuel supply uh, leads to uh, heat up the condensing water finally the boiler will generate the steam and the steam sent sent to the steam turbine uh, at a entry stage um, the steam uh, to process at middle of turbine and then the exit of the turbine uh, steam will, will enter into the cooling water uh, like a condenser finally the condensed water will supply to the boiler to generate the steam this is the way this cycle uh, will be continuously going the generator also coupled with steam turbine rotator because of that 
the generator uh, able to produce the power within this i will conclude uh, this co generation topics uh, in the next part going to explain about co generation system thanks for watching